course, the signature piece of any Preakness outfit is what you wear on your head. And Christine Moore is one of the biggest name designers that you can find out at Pimlico today. And she's joining Megan and Ava outside the track. And I just wanted to show you guys this. This was the hat that Christine made for me a few years ago. I get stopped everywhere when I wear this, especially on Black Eyed Susan Day. Hi, guys. I'm, how how unique to have that Marilyn theme to the hats. You've made Jen some really stunning ones. Oh. We loved her hat nader yesterday. I love that she lets me do it. Yes. And, I, and I, I also love the Maryland flag, even though I'm not from here. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's so interesting. Like mm -hmm. no other state has a flag like that. Yes. You know, so much. And, and you do such a great job of catering to everyone from men and women. You've even brought some special hats for the guys today, right? Well, I always, yes, exactly. The guys have to wear the hats, you know, and mm -hmm. it's whatever the weather is, you know, you want to not get a sunburn okay. or you, <laughs> or you want to protect yourself from the rain. Yeah, you know, whatever it is. Heaven forbid. But, yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know what? I always say, like, if there's a reason to make a hat, I'm there. And so this is the perfect day for me to be here. Yes, it is. And, or, tell everybody where you're from. Uh, New York City. Okay. And I'm the featured millen of the Kentucky Derby. And I have a lot of other titles in racing, you know, um, the official milliner for Breeders' Cup and America's Best Racing and all of it. So I'm off back here after a couple of years of being away and I'm so excited because I love I love the Preakness Stakes. I love it. Yeah. So you will be in the inside area where people can possibly purchase a new hat for next year. That's right. Or just, you know what? It's the best souvenir of the races is a really <laughs> fabulous hat. That's what I say. So what kind of styles will people be seeing this year? Well, you know, hats have been really um, the strong silhouette for um, for the races and it's American style. You know, it's uh, we get we go from the Southern Bell style of the Kentucky Derby. We go, you know, to middle states, you know, the, the hat starts to get smaller okay. within the shoulders. But you know, it's still like bright colors are the um, trend to be seen, you know, and just really l live the day. Um, so you really want to have something that packs a wow in your hat, and then and then as you go up to Belmont, it gets more sleek. Like where where do you get your ideas? Like, do they come to you like in the middle of the night? <laughs> you know what? The, one of the things about being with people and doing trunk shows at stores and then being at the track. All of you inspire me to do what I do. So I have a, a body of work that that keeps on rolling on. I have a very distinct style that we make all our, our bows and our flowers from scratch. So very distinctive, but it's when I see people in my hats, it's mm. like start like Jennifer. Every time she wears one of my hats, it's like, oh, okay, like <laughs> I, I, I could do this next time. You see time. the angles. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's really exciting, or yes. what the needs are. Yeah, that's a beautiful one. So we're in a post-COVID world. You're talking about how this is your first time back since 2019. And we know fashion kind of changed a little bit during that time because we were all at home, right? Yeah. <laughs> but like, this is the uh, one time where we go all out, right? You have to yeah. bring it. And, uh, yeah, and I think that the, the hat fashion and even clothing at the races has not changed. If anything, it's gotten more heightened because people want to go out and they want to mm -hmm. live the day. And, um, and be noticed, as I said. Yeah. And uh, one way, a through line has been color, like really mm -hmm. super bright. Have mm -hmm. been uh, and, uh, yeah, what you're doing, wearing, we're actually. Doing super yeah. Brights. Now yeah, we're you going. were <laughs> helping to comfort people because there is a slight chance for showers later today, <laughs> deep into the evening. And you're saying these hats, it's okay, they can get wet. You know what? I think you should live the day, no matter what happens. <laughs> and if you get drenched, you get drenched. Uh, one of the things is uh, don't lay anything heavy on your hat okay you, know, you want to kind of set it down or a fascinator mm -hmm. let it just dry out it might take a couple days as i was saying but just let it dry out but it, most i would think I, most milliners we do this if you can send the hat back to us we will refresh it because mm. it's investment and they want to be worn again they don't want to be in closets and they don't want to be ruined mm -hmm. so ask your milliner to to fix it